Now, if you've got a yard that is, is a well-fertilized yard, like a nice fescue yard you fertilize once or twice a year, that's enough for the trees, too. You're not going to need to be giving them anything uh, extra. But on uh, ones that in an unfertilized area, and we're here in a buffalo grass area with some Bermuda, and we do not fertilize this, it does go ahead and help them to go ahead and grow. We usually use nitrogen only unless we know it's deficient in some phosphorus or potassium. And this site is low on phosphorus and potassium, so we'll be using that. So the fertilizer we're selecting here today is 131313. 13, 13. It is even amounts nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium. We're going to use it at the rate in K-State's publication on fertilizing trees, and you can pull that up online. On small trees, we'll use about two and a half pounds, and a larger tree, about five pounds on the tree. The roots are out twice the spread of the tree, so this tree's out about eh, five, six feet, so we'll want to go at least uh, 10 feet out beyond it. And according to the chart we're using, on a larger tree, we'll be going 15 feet out from the tree, so 30 feet all the way around. So, so 20 to 30 foot diameter is how we'll be doing that. There's two types of spreaders. There's a drop spreader that drops it straight down and a broadcast spreader that tosses it out. This type will spread it about three feet in each, each direction. Now on this, some people will fertilize too much up close to the tree. We're going to go out from the tree out 15 feet. There's once around, twice, shake it up a little bit. And sometimes you have a little bit left in the spreader and the only way to get it out is just to get it out and spread it. That'll be fine. For more information, visit your local extension office or visit our website at kansasgreenyards.org.